but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. In order for us to serve the Most High in the Spirit and in the truth, we have to unlearn everything the heathens have taught us from their school system, religion, and history. We all should know that the heathens, with the help of their father Satan, have changed history to make those who do not belong as the indigenous and superior people, while those who do belong appear as the outcast. We have to let go of the wisdom of this world. Israelites, it is time to come out of her all forms of her and i heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues many israelites have left the church they are no longer in religion although many have left religion most israelites did not leave behind the doctrines of devils many israelites are still connected to the kingdom of darkness beast system and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Just because you left the church in the dust, it does not mean the kingdom of darkness do not have a hold on you. Israelites, it is important to break the covenants. The kingdom of darkness control majority of Israelites in the awakening. That is how many are falling for the doctrines of devils. Whoever control the mind, control the body or the person. If the Most High is ordering your steps, then the Most High is the dominant force supporting you. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. If the world dictates your every step, then the kingdom of darkness is in control. Satan's beast system has been around since the fall of the angels. Satan's beast system has led our ancestors into multiple captivity. They allow the lust of the flesh, lure them into bondage. Our ancestors knew the most high in his laws. The kingdom of darkness managed to make their provision and protection appear better than what the Most High could provide for his people. In this generation, Israelites are led by what they can see. The scripture said the seen things are temporary. We should focus on the unseen for the unseen is eternal. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, for the things which are not seen are eternal. Israelites, the heathens' reign is temporary. We should never imitate or strive to be like them. Our people admire the fact that the heathens have governments and armies to fight their battles. Most Israelites would prefer to have an army of flesh fighting their battles. Black people want leaders that can stand up for them. They want leaders that can attack their oppressors and win the battle. When Obama was running for president, majority of black people made him their savior. They thought if they have someone that appeared to look like them, they would find relief from the bondage they were born into. Black people want a superpower nation backing them up. Most Israelites believe if they have a nation like the heathens, superpower nations of today, all of their problems would be solved. Satan manipulate those who feel this way into accepting the beast system. This generation is no different from our ancestors. This generation is repeating the sins of our ancestors. Our ancestors rejected the Most High as their leader, government, protector, provider, and savior. They wanted to make a man king over them so they could be like the heathen nations. And all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, Thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. 
Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us, that we also may be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us, and go out before us, and fight our battles. In this generation, our people want a superpower nation with an elite government fighting for them. We have to accept the fact that we are a peculiar people, a chosen people. We will never be like the other nations. We have royalty flowing through our blood. Our ancestors were blinded by the kingdom of darkness system that they rejected the supreme ruler of all for his creation. Since our ancestors did not want the most high to be their king, Yah gave them a king. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear a day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow, about this time, I will send thee a man out of the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry is, Come unto me. And when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said unto him, Behold the man whom I spake to thee of. This same shall reign over my people. Our ancestors could not see the value in our Elohim. The man they wanted for a king misled them and abused them. Just like how the leaders you set over yourselves today are misleading you and abusing you. The scripture said when the righteous are in power, the people rejoice. When the wicked is ruling, the people suffer. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. We have nothing but wicked leaders ruling over us in this generation. The scriptures inform us that the world was given into the hands of the wicked. When our ancestors chose to follow the ways of the heathens, they accepted what the kingdom of darkness had to offer. When you accept the ways of this world, the kingdom of darkness successfully lure you into darkness. Our ancestors have traded their glory for the lesser. This generation is following into their footsteps when they accept the doctrines of devils and remain connected to the beast system. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Satan's beast system is in every nation. There is not a nation in the physical realm that is not controlled by the kingdom of darkness. There was a reason Satan sent his seed to colonize every land in this world. Everywhere the colonizers step foot, they enslave the indigenous people, overthrow their governments and leaders, set up a new system that benefit the kingdom of darkness and those who choose to align themselves with the satanic system. Finding out your identity is not the only aspect in the awakening. You have to let the most high purge out the satanic programming. The scriptures say we have to renew our minds to understand the Most High's perfect will. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Leaving religion is a major step in your journey. However, if you let go of religion and do not separate from the beast system, you are just a bondman or a bondwoman who know your identity. Satan do not care if you know who you are, as long as you do not know how to operate in the power that can destroy the satanic system, the kingdom of darkness could care less about your Israelite identity. The kingdom of darkness have done a great job convincing the world that the converts are the descendants of the Israelites while operating under a new name. The converts are deceived as well. The elite know of the deception, but most Israeli do not have a clue. There are Israelites in the awakening who have tapped into the power that can destroy the beast system. The kingdom of darkness cannot allow Israelites who are truly serving the most high in the spirit and in truth to unite and call on the Elohim of Israel to fight their battles. Satan had to plant agents among us. In addition, use the rebels among us to become a stumbling block to those who want to serve the most high. The doctrines of devils that was birthed in the awakening are designed to manipulate the remnant that wants to serve the most high. The doctrines of devils is giving the kingdom of darkness access to control the awakening. If you do not disconnect from the satanic system, you will not perceive the poison the kingdom of darkness injected into the awakening. 
As the Most High continue to expose the doctrines of devils, it is our duty as the remnant to keep spreading the truth to counter the false doctrines misleading our people. The doctrines of devils is causing many Israelites to spoil their seed by whiting themselves out, oppressing the daughters of Zion whom the Most High has given a voice, division among brethren, using the scriptures to justify sin and to enslave the strangers. When your oppressor is spirit, you have to attack your oppressor in the spirit. The Most High recently remind you that every day you are on a battlefield. The doctrines of we are under the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and not being able to prosper due to the curses is a false doctrine that is keeping many Israelites in slavery. You recently learned there is a difference between slavery and servitude. The scriptures inform us that the Most High did not give us the spirit of bondage. But ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28 has multiple purpose. It validate the truth in the words of the Most High, fulfilling prophecy, helping to identify the ancient Israelites' descendants and identifying our enemies. The Most High is using the curses to discipline his people and preparing his people for leadership. Israelites, it is wise to ask the Most High to help you understand the true context of his words. I have heard and watched many Israelites proudly accept the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. They wear those curses like a badge of honor. Most Israelites disregard the blessings in the same chapter. When your mind is connected to the satanic beast system, you will not be able to perceive the blessings the Most High reserved for those who serve him. Satan do not want you to know about the blessings and promises the Most High made to you. Satan is using the blessings you are rejecting to deceive the heathens. The heathens believe because they are rich, the Most High is blessing them. That is the furthest from the truth. You cannot serve the Most High in money. In order for Satan to deceive the heathens, he has to get the wealth from somewhere. If we are not in control of our wealth, then the kingdom of darkness have taken it. The scriptures reveal we are a people that is spoiled and plundered. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith, Restore. The heathens are enjoying what belongs to us. The Most High is not the one blessing the heathens. The kingdom of darkness is using what belongs to us to deceive the nations. Until we humble ourselves and repent, the Most High is not going to reverse our captivity. Remember, the heathens' reign is temporary. The kingdom of darkness used the curses to keep Israelites in bondage. If Satan can keep you dependent on him, he can better control you. Many Israelites are led to believe they are not to prosper or live a good life in the land of their captivity. That is false. How are you to provide for your family and yourself if you do nothing to further your community and your household? The heathens are not our providers. The most high is your provider. The scripture said, if a man do not work, he should not eat. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. The doctrines of devils have many Israelites believing it is better to slave for the heathens than to start a business to gain financial independence from the satanic beast system. There is a difference in being self-sufficient and selling your soul to become a member in the synagogue of Satan. Curse or no curse, you should not rely on the satanic system to provide for your every needs. You have to get up and take care of your family. If you put the well-being of your family in your enemy's hands, do not be surprised when they destroy your family. The Most High charged his creation to take care of the earth. If we are not going to take care of the earth, do not be upset when the heathens take over and destroy it. The scriptures inform us that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and a good man leave an inheritance for his children and grandchildren. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. If you are afraid to step out of the heathen system, how are you going to build generational wealth for your family? Remember, the scripture said a good man leaves behind inheritance for his children and grandchildren. 
the curses in Deuteronomy is not there to disarm you and make you a punching bag to the kingdom of darkness. The curses is there to discipline and to humble Israelites. The Most High want his people to repent. When we truly repent, the Most High will save his people. Do not believe the doctrines of devils condemning Israelites who choose to start a business and to buy land to separate themselves from the heathens. The kingdom of darkness is using the curses to strip the Israelites of the skills the Most High placed in them to survive. Israelites, how is the Most High going to order your steps if you do not take a step? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The agents among us will use the curses as the reason for their inability to overpower their enemies and the Most High not operating in their life. The scripture said in Deuteronomy 28 that if you do not obey, then the curses would come upon you and overtake you. If you are an awakened Israelite and you are serving the Most High, then you are not under the curses. The Most High fight for the righteous. Remember, Israelites, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. As a man thinketh, so is he. If you believe you are cursed, then cursed will you be. The curses in Deuteronomy 28 is on the wicked of our people. If you were serving the Most High in the Spirit and in the truth, why would he curse you? If you are a righteous servant, the Most High is giving you an opportunity to reverse the generational curses in your bloodline. The curses is not there to prevent you from becoming a force that fight against the kingdom of darkness. The curses do not have the final say in our lives. During King David's reign, he suffered a three-year famine. He did not know what caused the famine. David had to seek the Most High for answers. The famine was the result of Saul violating a covenant the Israelites had with the Gibeonites. Then there was a famine in the days of David three years, year after year, and David inquired of the Lord. And the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. Israelites, the Most High honor all covenants. That is why it is important not to forge covenants with the kingdom of darkness. Because Saul ignored the covenant, a curse came upon the entire nation. It is important, Israelites, to know when you act foolishly, you are bringing four generations into your foolishness. Once David made an atonement for Saul, violating the covenant promise to the Gibeonites, the famine ended. Likewise, Israelites, if you are serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth, you are doing what the Most High asks of you, you will be delivered from the generational curses that plague our bloodline. You do not have to live a defeated life simply because you are an Israelite. Just because the scripture spoke of a curse that would be upon his people for a sign, it does not sentence you to eternal slavery. I am an Israelite. Never will you hear me accepting any type of curse. As long as I live a life that is pleasing to the Most High, he will order my steps and provide for me. What I will accept is all the blessings and promises the Most High made to his people. I know the importance of the power of the tongue. In addition, as a person think it, so is he. Therefore, I am blessed. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Israelites, if covenant curses can transfer from one generation to the next, then covenant blessings also transfer from one generation to the next. That is how Jacob's descendants are heir to the promised land. The covenant promise the Most High made with Abraham transferred to Isaac, then Jacob and Jacob's descendants, the Israelites. Many Israelites are afraid to accept the blessings the Most High made to his people. Do not be afraid of the many blessings the Most High reserved for his chosen people. Accept the blessings and hold the Most High accountable to fulfill his promise in your life. When the Most High is renewing your mind, you will be delighted to receive all the promises waiting for you. The Israelites in the awakening with the mindset from the satanic beast system will struggle to accept the many blessings the Most High reserved for his people. It is important to get rid of that satanic mentality. Through that program, mind caused many Israelites to accept the doctrines of devils. 
When you accept the doctrines of devils, you will live a defeated life and the kingdom of darkness will oppress you. Israelites, do not believe the doctrines of devils circulating in the Israelite community. There is a difference when you find success through the most high and finding success with the assistance of the kingdom of darkness. Abraham was a wealthy man living in a strange land among the Kenyanites. The very land he lived on as a stranger became the promised land. Abraham was wealthy and the most high blessed him because he was a faithful servant. And he said, I am Abraham's servant and the Lord hath blessed my master greatly and he is become great and he hath given him flocks and herds and silver and gold and men servants and maid servants and camels and asses. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing like Abraham, the Most High will bless you if you serve him. It is because many Israelites depend on the kingdom of darkness, beast system, making it difficult for them to separate from the heathens. You must trust our Elohim to provide for us if you want to survive in the times we are living in. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness to steal from you. The doctrines of we are under the curses and cannot live a good life in the land of our captivity is a false doctrine coming from the kingdom of darkness programmed to disable you. Israelites, focus on the Most High's provision and promises he made to his people. If the Most High can preserve his people until this generation, there is absolutely nothing too hard for him. Trust your Elohim. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God.